I think it talks so ChatGPT is a very you know hot topic these days uh, we already have seen its interface but this is time to integrate that using C sharp in our application so today we are going to use uh, beta algo.gpt3 based um, package and we are utilizing that one and internally it is using gpt3's um, endpoint we will see that in detail uh, in our next videos so uh, this is going to be a series on chat gpt integration with c sharp uh, today we are going to demo the first and most simple step to use chat gpt's feature using existing using an existing library so let's get started <clears throat> first of all we need to include a package which is um i will search for beta algo open api gpt3 let's install it it will take few moments and the meanwhile we need another class we can name it like uh, setup class because we need to put a key the chat gp3 api key which we get from chat gp3 open api interface so let's name it like set up dot cs and we can simply add a key here and we can uh, you know we use a uh, public static void and uh, we can name it configure and and uh, we can set the environment variable like environment oops dot that environment variable and let's name it um api key and i will not show the exact key here i will put it you know separately so this is the setup part and inside the prom cs we can remove this default line and we can get the api key like environment dot get environment variable and that would be api key okay so next part is to see the available options uh inside what is happening with it <clears throat> okay that's installed and let's control s this one and next thing would be the uh, documentation of that library what feature it provides so you can find its documentation on its um, github page so what we need to use is we need to first of all configure its object this way and next thing would be to utilize this in the code this way so first of all we have configured the environment variable next we will create the open ai service and for the options we will use api key here api key and uh, we can we need to get it okay right so oh uh, i don't need to put it here this is just for the setup and we need to put it here like this and let's assign api key like this okay object is created next thing would be to uh, use that result so uh yeah so we need to make our main method async we need to make sure instead of void we are returning task and everything will be fine uh yeah not this one we will need a different um object 
uh, which is this one because we need the completion uh, the completion part so let's pick all that options from here to here right so open it yeah open it so yes control z yes okay so just to understand let me let me expand it vertically so that we can see what are different uh false wearing so first of all we are creating the open ai service object by the ap key uh, next we are calling the completion method so <clears throat> let's say i am writing something like my uh, let's say you know, what is uh, the size of sun let's pass this question and let's see what it replies back so for that one i need to uh, set that key so i will set that key on separate window so it's done so let me just control f5 okay the value cannot be null it's because we haven't actually called the configuration method here so let's call set up dot configure and now let's press control f5 okay let's see okay we got the answer the sun's radius is this much kilometer and the mass is one right and we we are getting the other the other uh, properties of the response as well to ignore those properties we can just call it like text that we only need the required text so now you can see only the um the text is coming but there is another thing we have seen that we are just taking the first token which means that we can set the uh, max tokens response as well and uh, the max token size is 4096 let's pass 4000 and instead of getting only the first uh, choice why not let's right for and utilize you know all those um, choices choice in competition and choices like this and we need to use here for each and we can ignore it and we can just console dot console dot right line and choice we can pass that one and let's press control f5 Or it choices. Let's press Control F five, and we are getting an error, which is um no such host is known, which means my internet is disconnected. Let me reconnect it. No, now it should be fine. 
it will take some time okay so we are getting the almost same response along this call why not let's uh, change the model instead of v3 let's pass it v2 so they, these are various couple of options we can you know tweak around and see the results so still we are getting the sun is about 1.4 million kilometers right okay so this is another thing let let's pass some kind of different query um what uh, is a programming language let's see what response we are getting a formal language is a formal language by set of uh, variables and views implementing algorithms okay so you can see now that this is how we can implement um, or integrate chat gpt in our c sharp application using existing um, libraries so this library is recommended by open api itself if you go to the documentation you can see for the dotnet c sharp we have the recommended api uh, library from um, open ai platform so that's why i am using this one uh so this was the first episode uh, we are going to do other videos as well so from now onwards we are creating our own small library where we will be making the api calls by api calls i mean if we if you see the uh, this endpoint so this is endpoint which is getting utilized in the back end so if you see i am calling it from postman which is our api client we are getting the response in the result so we can even utilize to you know this api through stp client directly or we can write our own sdk so we are trying to write our own sdk in coming um, video till then uh, have a look and in case of any question queries do ask in the comments and see you next time